what's up guys welcome back to everything wedding thank you guys so much for clicking on this video thank you guys for always coming back to watch our videos we're super excited to have you guys here today and kindly if you're not yet subscribed consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time we upload kindly do not forget to give this video a thumbs up because that's gonna help to grow the channel and do not forget to leave me a comment let me know which wedding gown on this video is your favorite and why exactly do you like it so in today's video we are sharing these amazing amazing wedding gowns and i know that you guys are going to love them personally i'm a fan of ball gowns and the gowns that you're sharing today are basically and mostly ball gowns and also we're going to be talking about four steps uh, when it comes to writing a perfect wedding speech and uh, we're going to be giving you the tips that will help you to amaze your audience so when it comes to voicing a speech it's not an easy job even if the wedding is for your best friend you are sure to experience uh, moments of total stress but you don't really need to worry because even the most experienced speech writers can entirely suppress the feeling of stress and anxiety so public public speaking is a you know a pure art and especially when it comes to a wedding so you might know whom you address the speech on the one hand perhaps you are as thick as thieves and share the most cringy simultaneously the best moments of your life so on the other hand though you are not going to deliver the speech to the couple only but to a hall that is filled with you know distant relatives guests and other family friends and suffice is to say that some moments can't be revealed so what can you tell and overall uh, and overall how can you come up with a top-notch uh, speech so today we're going to give you a step-by-step -step, uh, to help you deliver the most outstanding and moving wedding speech of all time so the first thing you gotta do is to recall some memories of the couple and once you know the topics available available to revolve around Start reminiscing recollections that led you through to the wedding day. Note down uh, such moments and analyze whether they are relevant and will not embarrass the couple. Your relationship with the bride and the groom has separate personalities and that would also matter. So analyze the story you want to make uh, to include into your speech from the scope of each of them. So make sure that the stories you will tell will make them smile instead of making them unhappy. So you need to be aware that other guests may also participate in the stories and memories you will include in the speech. You have to be as patient and uh, you have to be as patient as memories from the wedding they last forever and each detail will really matter to the couple and guests so the best choice would be to recall uh, you know friendly easy funny moments with the bride and the groom and then you're going to generate exciting ideas on how you're going to expose them to the audience in the best way possible Another point into writing a perfect speech is to brainstorm ideas. So when you decide on memories, now it's time to, de to develop the ideas for the speech and toast. So creating them might be daunting at times, but by no means is it a formidable task. So of course there is no place to run off the mill ideas and without a shade of doubt, you want to stand out and deliver a fascinating and a very memorable speech. So when you're brainstorming, uh, limit your focus to the wedding per se. Uh, de delving into you know brainstorming is an excellent way to develop unique concepts so that is going to allow you to generate a list of ideas and narrow them down until you come up with one of a kind concept you can uh, apply different techniques such as mind mapping free writing and listing to develop ideas for the talk some other thing is to structure your speech a correct structure a correct structure is an integral part of a successful wedding speech when you're working on a draft make sure you have distinct uh, opening body and ending not only will it make your address coherent but it will also keep the listeners on the edge of their seats and this res will result in an outstanding ovation afterward so for best results keep uh, kick off your talk with an opening a hook will draw the listeners attention and entice them to keep following your story you can also make such uh, an opening in the form of a memory or a joke but before including it remember the, about the audience and your research on it 
and then slowly you're going to move uh, slowly you're going to move to provide some background on how you met the couple and your how your relationship with the couple has evolved and once you do that kindly proceed to the body part where you tell the unforgettable story so in conclusion uh, wrap up key elements you have described and congratulate the couple on such an occasion also thank everybody for listening to your speech and then you can raise the toast and wish the couple the best of luck another point is to abstain from the booze before you give out your speech so it's weird not to drink alcohol when your friends your sibling and your child is getting married however it would be the best way it would be the best thing to lay off drinks at least for an hour before you announce your speech so sobriety will increase your confidence you will have uh, to be concentrated especially if you're going to crack some jokes another tip is to record yourself beforehand uh, the fear of sounding awkward can intrude your mind making you think that your speech is not is nothing but lame that's why you can record uh, your talk and check what should be replaced to improve its quality it would be best to make your speech recorded on the video uh, to see your facial expressions and then you can actually just work on them Another point is to think over your outfit. So being confident is an easier uh, is going to be easy for you when you know that you look great and dedicate enough time before the wedding to think over your look and make sure that you like your style and uh, or, or you like the style that you're going to choose. Moreover, weddings usually have a specific dress code. So if you're among the guests to give the speech, you kindly need to follow the requirements of style and the color of your outfit. So the other point is to be very careful with your jokes and as mentioned above you have to be patient uh, when you recall shared memories with the bride and the groom it would be best if you are especially careful when it comes to joke first you must be sure that you will not harm anybody's feelings with your jokes and be sure everybody would find them you know funny so second being funny in a good way is among the best uh, the most complicated uh, things related when it comes to public speaking so guys, I'm so glad that I shared those tips with you and I hope that you're now able to write a perfect speech for a wedding invitation. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I'm super excited to have you guys on this channel and kindly if you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to this channel. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and guys, don't forget to, sh let, uh, to share or let me know in the comment section which gown was your favorite for this particular video and let me know why. So see you on the next one. So fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw my time looping in the blurry lights